Welcome to the enlarged Cotter Dam site. Here's a construction update for February 2011. It's looking more and more like Middle Earth all the time. Hi, it's Richard Snashel here and thanks for joining us. As we look across there, there's a left-hand abutment wall in the background and we come down where that concrete pour is going on to a coffer dam which is under construction just near the Cotter River diversion and a coffer dam is used basically to to hold water so that other construction activity can take place around in the same area and we've got uh, young Jake here a little bit camera shy when he looked up but uh, we want to make his his mum proud uh, his dad Stewie is one of the uh, one of the leading guys down there. There's a few faces. There, all these guys are always wondering. Oh boy, am I, gonna, am I next for YouTube? It's Andrew Barclay, the senior engineering geologist. He's been involved with the project for a number of years. Now we're looking up at Tower Crane Number One, which just went up early, uh, early to mid Feb. Second of three tower cranes that's going up. These chaps here are just putting in some more of these reinforcing cables which go meters and meters and meters deep into the rock so tower crane number one there a uh, spider group of people up on top of the left hand abutment I gather they might be a group of visitors who came out to the site of course the enlarged cotter dam is really of great interest to people not just in the Canberra region but all over Australia a little bit of water coming over the old cotter dam wall now this is the last of the three tower cranes that's going up and that's the foundation there and those strands you can see down the bottom they go about 30 meters down deep into the deep into the ground there to make sure that tower crane stays up now we're looking up here at the conveyor system which will bring the concrete from the top down to the bottom to help build up the new and large cotter dam wall it's tower crane number three the concrete of course will be batched up on top on that right hand abutment there and brought down on these conveyors and as the wall is built up those conveyors will be gradually dismantled until the wall reaches its full height do a bit of a swing round there from the right hand abutment wall right round to the activity down in the valley floor there and up to the left and you can imagine there's so many people there that they have to have a meeting every morning to coordinate exactly all the activity that's going on in that Cotter River Valley and there is the old Cotter Dam wall which will eventually be inundated so it's always good to get different shots of it very much part of Canberra's heritage and it will disappear now we're looking up to where the quarry is on the right hand side We've got the Crusher building there with a bit of aggregate around and of course Saddle Dam number one which is very rapidly nearing completion right in front of us there. It's the Crusher and some aggregate stockpile around there. The crushing plant of course crushes up the rock that is quarried on site. Here we are at Saddle Dam number one. This chap here is being very delicate but that's because he's looking for a certain size of rock to use on uh, Saddle Dam number one, uh, some of its batters there it needs to get the right size of rock. You can see there the different grades of aggregate that he used, and there's that clay core down the middle that always remains moist. There's Wardy there, Brad Ward, who's looked after these saddle dams, basically built them, not quite with his bare hands, but pretty close to it, with a lot of help from the nice guys there. Wardy set up this truck here so we could see these different grades of aggregate that are that are being dropped off there, you see the clay core in the middle and um, then these, these different aggregates. And I've got a low down shot there and uh, they've got to be kept very carefully divided those different grades of aggregate and that's got to come up about another metre or a metre and a half. Now we're down at the quarry which is where um, the vast majority of material to be used on the site, rock and aggregate material comes from the on-site quarry which was one of the great perks of uh, being able to build the enlarged cotter dam was not having to truck all that material in and it's crushed in the crusher building there 
Here's the second of the two saddle dams, saddle dam number two, and it is complete, all finished. Looking over now to the concrete batching site, that shed there is going to be used to keep sand cool, uh, the sand which goes in the roller compacted concrete. And we've got various storage vessels, silos, and of course there are two batching plants that will be able to run 24 hours a day, seven days a week once the pouring starts. And we finish on this final shot of the aggregate stockpile which is only halfway up to its full size. Well, we look forward to seeing you next month for a bit more of an update from the Enlarged Cotter Dam.